हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल साइंस फॉर एग्रीकोस फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव गिवन इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द जे स्कॉलरशिप एंड हाउ कैन वी अप्लाई फॉर इट इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू गिव टिप्स ऑफ हाउ टू राइट अ प्रोजेक्ट सिनॉपसिस फॉर जे एन स्कॉलरशिप सो लेट्स गेट इन द वीडियो दिस इज द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट ऑफ जवाहरलाल नेहरू मेमोरियल फंड The enclosures that are to be attached along with the application form are a passport size photograph of the applicant, a synopsis of the proposed project, the supervisor's report, postal order or DD of rupees hundred, and PhD registration certificate. In this video, we learn how to prepare the synopsis of the proposed project as per the attached format. Friends, this is the proposed format for the project synopsis that is to be attached along with the application form. Prepare this in Microsoft Word for convenience. First, mention the title of your proposed research project. Next, mention the area of specialization under which you are submitting the application form. Next, continue with the format mentioned here. Under this, first comes the review of literature. Collect the latest references from the Google related to your work published both nationally and internationally by various researchers. Arrange them chronologically. Make sure. they do not exceed more than 1000 words together and the maximum key references be 10 second comes lacuna in knowledge and justification of the proposed project this should not be of more than 250 words under this subheading you should explain which aspect is lacking in the previous research conducted by various researchers relating to your topic and justify how your research can fill that space next comes objectives of current project This should be mentioned clearly and point wise only. It should not be more than 150 words. After that, outline of plan of work. This should be made like a flow chart. For example, in your research you should mention first you carry out what aspect of your research, then the next aspect and so on till the end. It is nothing but how your research is going to proceed within the stipulated time. This should be of one page. Next comes plan of work. in this you should give all the key information about your research clearly the way you present this may increase your chances of success for example a good work with bad presentation may create negative impact on the evaluators so try to present it in an informative way and in an attractive way this is only the personal opinion that is collected from the students who have previously applied for the scholarship next comes the methods it should be of 500 words here you have to mention the methods that are involved in your research for example we prepare the chapter material and methods in our thesis in the same way but it should be only of 500 words next comes the type line for this you can use the smart art option in the microsoft office the timeline should denote duration and the diagram with description of goals to be achieved annually for example if you are applying in 2020 then what work you are going to carry out in 2020 and 2021 should be mentioned this should be of one page next letter of participation of collaborating institutes or co guides this means if you are collaborating with any other institute apart from your host institute you should collect the letter of participation from the collaborating institute and attach it next you have to mention the guide details it should be of one page mention name and current position of your supervisor or guide address contact details like email fax telephone highest degree of your supervisor next list of the five best publications of your guide and area of research interest of your guide this should be mentioned in 100 words then lastly you should mention the student details here you should mention only those details that are not already mentioned in the application form for example details of your participation in national or regional workshops conferences etc to improve your skills required for the proposed phd program all this information is collected from the students who have previously applied for the scholarship for more information regarding the scholarship and how to apply 
please visit the official website of JNMF. Thanks for watching the video. Hope this video will be useful for all those students who are applying for the JNMF scholarship. If you like my video, kindly share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel Science for Agricos. For any doubts, you can send messages to the Instagram account Science for Agricos.